Hi, Nicole. Welcome to the first edition of Just Vibing with the Artist. First, tell us a little about yourself. So a little about me is I am a Creole American singer-songwriter, and I was born in North Carolina, but I've lived in Los Angeles for most, basically my entire life, and I grew up singing in church with my brother and cousins. We just love singing and performing together so much that we even put on our own concerts for our family during the summers at our grandparents' home. And like we built stages, we choreographed the show, we promoted it, we were all in, and it was so much fun. It just set the foundation for, I think, who I am as an artist now. What motivated you to start creating music, and at what age did you begin? I think I was motivated to start creating music um, when I was about six years old. My brother Wallace Hall and I produced our own demos and started submitting them to labels a few years after that. We caught the attention of several producers, such as like James Carmichael, who worked with the Commodores, Atlantic Star, and the um, legendary producer Keith Diamond, who worked with Billy Ocean and Donna Summer, to name a few. We also worked with Lee Young Sr., um, who was a phenomenal um, innovator, I think, in our industry. You know, he was with Motown for many years, and he worked with also uh, Tina Marie and the Emotions and so many other artists, very prolific producer. And he introduced us to Wanda Vaughn of the singing group The Emotions, Best of My Love fame, and her husband Wayne Vaughn, who worked with Brothers Johnson, Earth, Wind & Fire. And they loved what we were doing and thought we were like the cutest kids and brought us into their family right away. So it was just so much fun. We, um, we kind of grew up hanging at their home and studio with them and their kids. and. We felt like that we were their kids too. They made us feel so welcome. And then we went to like sessions and eventually ended up writing material for The Emotions, which was never released, but still sounds dope to this day. Um, also, I was modeling simultaneously and saved all of my money, which afforded me the ability to produce and release my first album, Appearances, independently on my own label. And that album went on to win the Best Album Award with Virgin Free Radio, out of 25,000 independently released albums that year, so I was super proud of that. How do you want people to feel when hearing your music? When people hear my music, I, I want them to be transported, meaning I want my song that they're listening to at that time to take them on a journey. I want the listener to feel the sounds and lyrics and to be a part of that energy. Do you have any musical influences that inspire you, have inspired you? to help shape, mold you into the musician that you are today or help them molding the music you create? I think I have, you know, quite a few musical influences that inspire me because I grew up in a household filled with all types of music that influenced my genre-bending style. And most people are really shocked, you know, at the feel and range of my voice and always comment on my bright and soulful tone. Um, so that's always been a compliment to me. You know, I think that's the, the crux of it, being open to all types of music to broaden your ear and your, your sound. And as far as musical influences, I've always loved and been inspired by Whitney, Mariah, Natalie Cole, I mean, Phyllis Hyman, just to name a few. The list really goes on, but those, those ladies are at the top for me. What is the ultimate goal you want your music to achieve or for yourself as an artist to achieve? I think the ultimate goal that I want to achieve at this point in my career is to have my music sincerely heard and felt across the globe. I mean, if that's happening, I'm good. Being happy to me is, is a major goal as a human being. And as long as that's achieved, everything will be what it's meant to be, in my opinion. What's the best concert you've ever been to or performed? Now, this is a good question. What's the best concert I've been to or performed? Um, whew, that's a tough one. I've had the honor and pleasure of enjoying like so many artists and performing with them as well. And some of the best shows I've had the privilege of seeing have been like Michael Jackson, Beyonce, Bruno Mars. Um, I mean, the list goes on, but these, these stand out at the top of my list. And as far as one of my favorite performances as an artist, I think it would have to be when I did a show with Bobby Brown during the NBA All-Star Weekend in Los Angeles. It was 
an absolute blast. I mean, he's an incredible performer, so kind, so sweet. And, um, you know, he shared the stage with me. And, uh, you know, like some artists can can sort of make you feel like, okay, they're headlining. So, you know, they are on top, if you will. But he wasn't like that. He was just like, you know, we're doing this together. You know, we're going to have a great time. He came out on the side of the stage and watched my show. It was fantastic. And the crowd was so hyped and up that... Um, just, I don't know, it's just a great, great experience for me. So it's one of the top uh, shows I've, I've uh, had the privilege of, of putting on. Your latest release is the single, Romance. What inspired this song, and how can others relate to the meaning? My latest song uh, that's out right now is a dance track entitled Romance, and I work with two DJs from Spain um, on this outing, DJ Frisco and Marcos Peon. They reached out to me about working together on something that was dance floor, fire, and anthem feeling, and I came up with the idea for romance. Um, the concept is about those moments when you're not necessarily feeling your best, but your friends are there in your corner and hype you up and get you out of the house, and you know, so you can get out of that mood and uh, you know, and get some some good energy uh, in you, and uh, you know, take you to the club. <laughs> And you know how it feels, you know, you, you got the music pumping and you're going to like dance the night away and, you know, who knows, romance could pop off then too. You never know, right? <laughs> what else are you working on? What can we expect to see and hear from you in the future? You know, I'm always working on new material. As a creative, you can't help it. Like every, every day, you're always writing and thinking of ideas and, you know, a lot of them don't make it out, but the point is, is to, is to... You have to have an outlet for that and to a release. And so um, lately I've been having a lot of fun, like working as an influencer with companies and, you know, representing their various products. And, you know, it's a blast. It kind of ties back into my earlier days as a model. Um, as far as music is concerned, I do have a new single that will be coming out this spring, and I'm really excited about that release. And so we're getting things to get organized and together now. Um, for that as, as you have to plan for a release but you know in this industry it's it's all about to me being authentic and being yourself and and that's all I want to do and be you know as an artist is to convey that to have my audience receive it and that just really makes me happy and warms my heart and lastly anything else you wish to say about yourself or your music I think I'd like to leave you with this with this interview and it's been a pleasure um, speaking with you and you know, talking about my ideas and my time within the industry. But, well, I believe like this relates to me and my fellow artists and our music because social media is so important these days for all of us. And I feel obligated to mention that it's tremendously important to have support from friends and family. You know, whether they know it or not, their shares and love not only help from an emotional standpoint, but if they can share my opinion only if they can share major artists work then they should be sharing you know their friends work the people they know like they should be doing it 20 times more than they share that you know artists they've never met because the bottom line is it's all about helping to build a brand create a name create recognition and all of this support helps more than they realize um, so I always like to you know put my two cents worth in for that with whomever is listening to just know that your support for your fellow artists and friends and people you know means more than anything and um, you doing that you know shows them that you're about them and so as I leave you with that I just want to thank you so much for your time this has really been my sincere pleasure to get to talk and chop it up with you you know we, we go way back so I'm always wishing you all the best and if you ever need anything, hit me up and giving my best to everyone. Much love, guys.